My dudes, what's going on? I thought I'd make a beginner guide for you guys to get started for the brand new island expeditions. Anyways, let's get into it. Island Expedition has six islands that can be unlocked with things called bottles. But first things first, we need to head over to Omar's Dock, which is the third fishing spot at the very end. He will have quests for you that require materials and fishing levels in order to proceed throughout the quest line. Also, make sure when you go there, you don't switch maps, as your bottles in the water will actually disappear if you load in and leave. So for the first claim, you'll actually miss out on like a week worth of progress. It's also very important not to pick up the bottles until you can complete as much as the quest line as you can, because Omar's quest line will increase the percentage of bottles that you receive. And if you're planning on buying the new bundle and also the limited gem shop for the bottles, make sure to do that before entering the map and doing the quest line as well. So the items and levels that you will need for the quests are 20k thread for the first one. For the second one, you'll need level 35 fishing with 24 one hour time candies, 10 two hour time candies, and five four hour time candies. The next one is level four fishing, which requires 40k sand sharks and one Bob Joe pickle. The next quest is level 50 fishing, which is 250k krakens and a Bob Joe pickle. Next one is level 70 fishing, and it will cost you 250k fruit flies, 75k worker bees, and two Bob Joe pickles. And the last one, which most of us can't do day one, which will require you a whopping level 90 fishing, and it requires you to collect 1k shellfish, which is only received through through the new sea salt island so after you finish the level 70 quest line that's when you can pick up your bottles so basically every quest you do with omar will increase the amount of bottles you get from each big bottle and so will the new bundle you can get one big bottle a day but don't worry you won't have to check back every single day they will just keep on stockpiling and stockpiling as long as you log in daily and you can spend those bottles that you get to unlock the island by clicking on the billboard be aware each island you unlock will raise the price of all other islands so it's suggested that you buy the islands in this order for optimal gains. You want to start off with Trash Island, then Shimmer, then Sea Salt, move your way to Fractal, Brando, and then finally Crystal. You can go to each of the islands by clicking on the raft to the left of the dock and selecting the island you want to go to. Each island has its own unique thing that you can do, some daily and some weekly. So for the first island, I recommend the Trash Island. You want to come back here daily on your reset to pick up your trash, where you can spend this currency on the flopping trash fish. A few things you can buy are stamps, a new star talent, a name tag, and new bribes to unlock for the world one pig in town. It's ideal that you buy the garbage to increase the upgrade if it's the cheapest thing in the shop. And then you buy the next cheapest thing after that. So example, your trash upgrade costs 21. That's more than the 20 needed for the stamp. So you want to buy the stamp and then buy the garbage upgrade till it costs more than the bottle upgrade and so on. The second island I recommend you unlock is Shimmer. This island has a weekly challenge. So so to speak, which will give you fairies and then you can spend on. A quick tip here, before you claim your weekly fairies, try your best to mid-max, whatever the task is. So for example, what I had this week was to get as many stats as I possibly could. I focused on getting wisdom, agility, strength, and luck as high as possible. And for me, I ended up getting 1.3 times multi for the fairies, which allowed me to claim 13 over the normal 10 for this week. With these fairies, you can pretty much buy important upgrades like base stats, damage percent, class XP, skill efficiency, and even a new star talent book. The star talent upgrades will not increase in cost and will always drop a 200 book, but it costs three fairies. The stat upgrades increase by one fairy every 10 upgrades, so after 10, it will cost two per click. The damage percent will increase by one every three upgrades. The class XP will increase every four and skill efficiency will increase every five. So make sure you pick and choose on what you want to spend your fairies on. Since we don't have all the knowledge, I'm going to briefly mention the next four islands until we know more about it. The third island I recommend you unlock is the Sea Salt Island. This island will give you three new fishing spots that are best in slot for fishing XP levels, as well as four new fish for World 6 upgrades. That means four new cards to farm, baby. It's time to get your card grind on. And also, if you've got to level 90 fishing, Omar's quest will also require you to collect shellfish, which are located at Sea Salt Island. Next up is the fourth recommended island to unlock next, known as Fractal Island, which unlocks the nothing AFK mechanic. If you AFK in town, you'll notice a cool new doing nothing icon next to your character. When you unlock this island, you'll be able to AFK nothing to get different bonuses based on how many hours you've been AFK and you'll have a rare chance to get a trophy. So be on the lookout because 
Last time I checked, I think this trophy might be pretty sweet. Then you have the fifth island on the recommendations, which is the Rando Island. Here, you'll be able to get a weekly guaranteed random event. You know, like the giant frog and the grumblow events that you can sometimes get hourly and you can do it once per day. You can get another new star talent here. But holy wow, Lava, how many star talents are we going to get? Anyways, you can also upgrade stuff from here from the bottles. So after you unlock the islands, be sure to come back and do so. And finally, the last island I recommend you unlock, which will take about 148 days or six months, the Crystal Island. Each day you can get a few giant crystal mobs. And yes, you heard me right. The fabled, mythical, elusive giant crystal that has been a myth for years are actually in the game now. The giant crystals will stockpile just like your bottles, so you won't have to check daily, but they act like giant mobs and give XP, candies, and etc. There you go, my dudes. That is a quick beginner guide to help you to get started on your beautiful island expeditions. Once we start unlocking more, I'll make a full-fledged guide to help you out to get everything down and ready to go. Tell me what you think, but anyways, my dudes, I gotta get back to the guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eilon video. Stay safe, happy grinding, and peace out.